antibiotics to the Rife machine and I stopped seeing doctors because I was like, well, okay, I don't need a doctor for this, I'll just stop seeing doctors. Bad idea, very big mistake and I wish I hadn't done that because when you're seeing a doctor, it's like you have a professional who can vouch for the fact that you're sick. And, like, you must be sick if you go to them and they they are willing to prescribe you stuff and treat you and deal with you. Whereas if you're not seeing a doctor, it's easy for someone to say, oh, are you sure you're not just um, making this up and just to get out of work? Are you sure, sure you're not just a uh, hypochondriac? Are you sure you're, like, you know, maybe this is, and so that's what my stepmom, my fucking stepmom, may she live in infamy. That's what she did to me. She came in, when she got married, she undertook a, 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 like a, well, even before that, she did a lot of speaking negatively about me behind my back, but as far as I can tell, because a lot of it, a lot of it was just indirect, and me like, being like, you know, that sounds like something she would say, it doesn't sound like something anyone else in my family would say, but she was really pushing hard that I was not sick with Lyme, and that I had uh, bipolar, and that I needed to be on psych medication and stuff, and she, I believe she was influential in getting my family to like, cut me off, and mostly cut me off, it was this weird thing they did, where they were like, well, whatever. I was mostly on my own after that point, and um, it was horrible, it was life-threatening, and I, I felt like a goner during a lot of it, I'm kind of surprised we did through it. So anyway, that's my that's my PSA for why to keep seeing a Lyme doctor, because it would have been a lot better had I just been like, well, my Lyme doctor says I'm not better yet, don't you guys want me to keep going? Like, he's really alarmed at this idea of me not seeing him anymore, like, I need to be able to keep seeing this doctor. Or he says that, you know, I need to go through this and this, you know, reach this milestone before I can quit treatment, you know, and, and you know, whether it's whatever. So, yeah, um, continue seeing a doctor. Also, just for your own sake, continue seeing a doctor so that you can be honest with yourself about if you're relapsing and just, even if it's just every six months, just continue having a touch point with the doctor. Also, so you can stay as an official patient because sometimes these people, their practices fill up and they won't accept new patients, but if you're just seeing them, even infrequently, you still count as a patient. That happened with one of my Lyme doctors. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my PSA. Uh, just even if you're going to use cheap stuff, and, and even if you're not on antibiotics at the time, which um, you know antibiotics are important, but like I, I understand if you can't handle them 100% of the time for decades, um, I recommend still seeing a professional uh, Lyme specialist.